What's up guys? I'm Tugla and I'm here to answer some of your questions from the Q&A that I promised to do after I hit a certain amount of subscribers, which is now sitting at 11,000 and holy fucking shit. I've only been doing YouTube for about maybe four or five months. I'm not even sure when I started. I think it was around maybe May. Anyway, that's not important. But the fact that you guys have been supporting me and helping me out so much with the release of my music is just incredible. And I could not, have, uh, I cannot ask for such amazing people in my life and support from you guys. Thank you so much. And to reward you, I'm gonna give back some Q and A, some questions from you, answers from me, and let's fucking get stuck into it. So, the first question: Where are you from? Where are you living at the moment? Hmm, great question. If you haven't been able to tell already, I'm actually Australian because of my accent. And I grew up in Port Macquarie, a uh, beautiful place. I actually am currently there right now and I love it. The beaches are incredible. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Question two, what made me start YouTube? I guess I just wanted to like, I just wanted to put music out there. It's all fun doing originals and everything like that, but I have all these old classic songs that I wanted to do and just actually put it out there and see what actually people think of like my kind of style that I put on these songs. So that's what I did. And I think it was one of the best decisions I ever made. Fuck yes. Where did you learn to play guitar and who or what inspires you to sing? Funny story. I actually never wanted to play guitar. I actually got forced to play, play guitar by my parents. Yes, they were like, you need to learn an instrument. I'm like, fuck no. I just want to fucking play soccer and play football and do some like, you know, what normal kids do at that age. But they kind of dragged me along to a music lesson one day and I held this thing called a guitar and fell into it like an addiction. I just started like playing. I was like, this is actually easier than what I thought it would be. And then I just was hungry to learn more and more and more chords. And I learned the chords and then I learned these songs. And I was like, I want to learn more. And I remember at one stage, my bedroom was covered in tabs from like Ultimate Guitar Pro and all that in paperwork, like out of some kind of fucking, some serial killer movie, like all these bits of paperwork with all these different tabs here. My parents would walk in and be like, what the fuck is going on here? This is fucking insane. So yeah, that's where I learned to play guitar and inspires me to sing. I don't know. I just kind of sing and let it out. Actually, you know what? I'll answer a few questions within that. I'll answer who inspires me to sing. I love the Beatles. My mum and dad listen to the Beatles all the time. And that's what really inspired me to like start writing music and starting to play like them. They're probably my biggest idols. But then when I get into like more of my Rocky stuff and probably where I developed my sound from, like vocally, I guess, image wise, mentally, I don't even know. But definitely like 2008, like that emo kind of stage that came in with like My Chemical Romance, like The Used, like Silverstein. Um, Under Oath, like all those bands, they inspire me so much. I definitely wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today if it wasn't for those bands. So fucking thank you so much for emo. Thank you. What is your zodiac sign? My star sign is Gemini, which is, I think that's pretty accurate. I'm kind of that person, I think, sometimes. Does Tugla smoke? <laughs> No, Tugla's a vape god, so you can tell that to fucking Oliver Tree if he's listening, but I doubt he is, so. <laughs> when did you get your first tattoo? Oh, funny story with that, all right. So it was actually like with a few friends and someone actually said like, oh, do you guys want to get some tattoos tonight? I know a guy that does them for like $10, $20. Yeah, sure, let's go do it. So ended up going to this old looking house with this old dude in there with this old looking machine. I swear he had like no teeth and he was just tattooing people, looking at all these pictures and pointing one out. And then all my friends were like, go get one, Dave, go get one. Oh, okay, so I ended up getting one of my many names, which is my real name, as I thrust this banana into the air right now, Scammel which is probably one of the biggest regrets, but you know what, I'll leave it there as a, as a, a reminder of just the fun times that I had growing up. So that was an experience, i tell you that. What is the worst thing you have done in school? I've done many bad things in school. I think probably one of the worst things I've done was we had this like exam where like we had to like write up an 
article on a subject or something like that. I remember I wrote up this fucking amazing piece of paperwork and I was like, fuck me, I'm not gonna remember this shit. What I did was I printed it off in a few bits of paper. I got the paper and I taped it to my legs. But when I went to the exam, I still did these ones. Lift the leg up, look down, and copy. Don't take that as an example. Do it right in school, don't cheat. I only did that once and I regret it so much. So if any teachers are listening right now, yeah, sorry. Where is your moustache? Gone. I got rid of it for a while. I've been rocking it for too long, but you know what? I actually kind of miss it, so it's gonna be coming back very soon. Someone said that I am Melanie Martinez's brother. <laughs> Please, no. I mean, it'll be cool, but that would ruin a chance of any, you know, me and her even going on a date together. If that would ever happen, doubt it, but you know. How does it feel to be caught a singing minion? Um, really, I didn't give a fuck. I just love the color yellow. And if it makes you happy to call me a singing minion, then your happiness brings me pleasure. So thank you. Biggest obstacle when filming a beatbox cover? I'll tell you what the biggest obstacle filming any cover is, really, for me. Remembering all these fucking lyrics. Even the songs that I write, I forget the fucking lyrics. And like, people call me out about that. You know, they'll be like, yo, why did you say that verse wrong? Like, didn't you write that song? <laughs> I was like, I like to mix it up. When will I be releasing original music? All right, so I will be releasing music at least early next year of my own stuff. And what kind of style it will be? Well, I think you can kind of guess. It's gonna be very fun, bro. It's gonna be very fun. Am I single? I've been hurt too many times in relationships. So now it's time for me to just focus on myself and go with the flow. And this is out there for anyone else that's, you know, going through a hard time in a relationship like that and like got goals and dreams and desires at the moment and there's kind of like a, a relationship holding you back. Get the fuck out of it, bro, or girl. Get the hell out of there. It's just gonna hold you back. You know, you need to move forward, you need to push forward and having like some kind of toxic thing that's kind of restricting you from doing anything in your life, you're not gonna achieve your dreams and desires doing that. I think I've answered enough questions. If there's anything else you want to know, just drop it down in the comments and I'll discuss it with you. But another thing, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you so much. Like, I can't believe how fast this has happened for me. This being such an incredible journey, such an incredible journey. And I wouldn't be here without the support of all you people all you beautiful people and I love you all so so much and I promise I'll be delivering music for you every week and definitely will be original music coming very soon you guys are amazing I love you all so much thank you thank you thank you don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that like button fuck what's down the bottom again subscribe like oh the notification bell for weekly covers with a twist. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's uh, Tugla underscore music. I always post updates and previews on what I'm doing. And yeah, follow me on there. And ooh, thank you so much, guys. I love you all. You are fantastic.